This video is to show the mock-up of the new GUI for the Monte Carlo panel. Not only will this new interface allow you to run a Monte Carlo simulation, it will also allow you to create and save XML files to run in the command line. The default GUI has two layers defined. It has one external detector, R of rho, and will run a thousand photons. If we click on Run Simulation, we get the plot for reflectance of rho. And right on the axis, you can change to log 10. If we reset the GUI, we can add layers by clicking on the plus next to the top layer. This will add a layer with the default properties. These can be modified directly in the text boxes. To edit the other layers, you can either click the cog to the right of the properties or click in directly on the text. To modify the number of photons, you can just click the text. And to change the detectors, you click on the little cog next to the detector. It's also possible to switch between the detectors from the screen. Click on the plus to add a new detector. In the drop down, you can switch to the detector that you'd like and then change the relevant properties and click add you'll see the new detector show up in the manager. And then we can tab across to our external detector and delete the R of rho. Now you can see that there's one internal detector defined and zero external. We can bring up the general settings. These are the defaults. We'll leave them as they are and run the simulation. This shows the map view for fluence of x, y equals 0, and z. Now we can modify the detectors again, adding in a new one. We can drop down the drop down and pick the detector that we'd like and click Add. We can modify the source. We're going to change the angle to 30. Here you can also change the type of source and update the number of photons. If we click on Run Simulation, we get the map view for the angled source. And if we click on Plot on the tab to the right, we can see the reflectance of x at y equals 0. To save this XML file, you click on the Save button in the settings. You give the XML file a name and hit Save. Now if we reset the GUI again, we can delete a layer by clicking on the X next to the layer. We can modify the layer settings by clicking on the cog. If we check the box, to add an ellipsoid, it brings up a properties dialog with default settings. We can modify these to be what we want. And if you click off the settings box, you can bring it back up by clicking on the cog again. We can modify the number of photons and then change the detectors. If we click on the plus in the external detector, we can add an internal by just changing the radio button here and then switch into the type of detector that we want, fluence of rho, z, and time, changing the properties and clicking add, and then clicking on our external detectors and removing our default R of rho. Now if we run the simulation, we get fluence of rho, z, and time. And this time, there's a slider next to the map, and we can actually click to cycle through the different times.
This concludes our demonstration and shows just a glimpse of the capabilities of our upcoming GUI.